Please. At guard number zero, Gillian Kines. At center number three, Rob Sharma. The other guard number eight, James Eason. At forward number 14, Ari Potador. And the other forward number 28, Dale Ortega. Their head coach is the Rain Man, Red Red Ritualo. Here now is the starting lineup of your EAC Brigadiers. At forward number five, uh, Mark Maniket. The At guard number seven, Rocky Iraham. At center number 13, Jedrick Luna. The other forward number 18, Kelly Coronel. And the other guard number 24, John Ray Castillo. Their head coach is Noy Catalan. Officiating this ballgame are crew chief, international referee Totti Celeste. Official one national referee Francis Bellio. And official two national referee Carlos Sebastian. Fourth man national referee Guillamin Alap. And returning in season 99, NCAA's very own, our commissioner, Tonichi Pohante. Good evening to all our viewers tuning in on the NCAA Philippines live stream on Facebook and YouTube. We are coming to you live from none other than the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center here in the beautiful San Juan City. It is opening day, our fifth and final game of the day. Save the best for last. It is last but not the least. We have the finalist of the previous season. De La Salle College with St. Benil La Salle Green Hills Greenies against the EAC Generals here to kick things off in our final game of our NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Nico Aaron alongside James Martinez bringing you the action. In the starting lineup for both squads, the Greenies in their fresh whites, the Tong EAC Naman in their strong red jerseys. Coronel all the way, put back bucket to open things up in our matchup this evening. EAC draws first blood. Benilde LSGH still with their core lineup of players looking to bounce back this season but of course standing in their way the first assignment are the EAC Generals Kahit na natin ngayon James, yung mga teams dito sa NCAA lahat magagaling eh, lahat marunong at good start para dito sa NCAA Talaga takbuhan ang takbuhan yung mga bata. Podador, easy layup. Oh, ginamit pa yung kaliwa. Oh, good find. Just unable to get the bucket there. Para sa EAC. Two early buckets for both teams. Looking to get on their offense early. Oh, Queen has almost got away with the travel there. EAC now on the other end, Castillo. BAC kick out pass. That's cash money for number seven. Iraham. Rocky Iraham playing it from deep. Is sa mga vital pieces ng EAC dito. Turnover is SDH. 5-0 hot start for the EAC Generals. Still, tsaka lay up para kay Castillo. Oh. Early offense din itong EAC. Ortega, susubok sa tres, no good. Good defense by Ayak. Oh. Castillo. Ilabas na naman, number 18. Kaboom! Sa tres. 
Hot start dito James para sa EAC. Kelly Coronel naman ang bumigay sa Treston. Number 18, Kelly Coronel. Transition 3. Dalawang 3 points na ang binibitawan nitong Kayak. Ibrahim at si Coronel. 2 out of 2 sila sa 3 points. Hot start. Hot start. Grabe. 8 points na pala lamang ng EAC dito. Oh. First quarter. Quinez. Flare screen 3. That's no good. Coronel with the rebound. Muyela, fast break play. He is fouled. He will be the first greedy to go to the line for two free throws. Talagang pag mga bata, tuloy-tuloy yung takluhan. Kung si Muyela, pagkakuha pa lang ng bola, dire-diretso na, walang takot. Sina-challenge yung big man ng EYAC. Of course, screen the offense then, itong Benil. Alam naman natin, James, no? itong Benil, being one of the finalists ng nakaraang NCAA Juniors natin, gutom din ito makabalik sa finals ulit. You know, they fell short against the Letran Squires, but now, with that Renan Ritualo then, squad, Renan Ritualo still the head coach, gusto na makabalik ulit sa finals, pero mukhang mas malaking challenge ito dahil ibang teams gumagaling na rin. At gutom mo rin makuha ang kumpiyonato. Yes, tama ka dyan, Nico. Uh, lahat ng teams may improve. May mga recruitment dyan. Uh, may mga budget. So, hindi natin kung makakabalik itong college of St. Benin led by Coach Renren Vivalo. Kaya lang, bad foul sila kay Ibrahim. Ibigyan ng 3 free throws itong si Ibrahim. Of course, it's the finalist. Benil, the LSGH, making the finals the previous season, led by none other than PBA legend Renren Mutualo, coaching them on the sidelines. Idol yan. Oh. Great man. Grabe yung shooting yan. Ayan yung mga ina-idol ko nung bata-bata ako. Yan ang uh, pure shooter, ano? Nag-one on one na ba kayo ni Coach Renren? Masubukan mo na. Grabe yung ahit sa akin yan. Siguro elementary ako doon. Ganda ng atake ni Ortega Kaya nagagalit si Coach Noy Katalan kasi dire-diretso si Ortega walang walang nag-stop sa atake ni Ortega. Ayun lang gusto niya maiwasan gawin ng pinil dito. Kasi kilala rin itong pinil de early offense. They like to run. But ESC Generals off to a good start. 12-5 here in the first period. 7 point lead for EAC. College of St. Peter showing 1-2-2 two, two defense. Full court press. Tingnan natin. Makaka-stop uh, sila. Solarias! Oh! oh spin move! Sayang. Nabitin lang doon. Oh, too fancy with it. Guinness on the run. Gives it out to his teammate. Too strong. Sorry, miss. By... Back to 1-2-2 two, two defense ulit sila. Ito ang college of St. Benil Greenies. Ang daming teams dito, James Dorn. Gusto ko sumpandaan yung 1-2-2 two, two defense. 1-2-2, 2-2-1. Two, two, Saka full court press. Yun ang talagang... Wow! EAC making it range for team. Early on. Long 2. But the long range has been there for EAC to open up this first period. Sayang, stepping lang si Villarias, long to. Sharma, binarik kay Muyuela. Unable to hit, wala pang stress ang greenies dito. Muyuela, si Rockham to na sa three points, ha? Castillo, long range jumper. That's no good. Ball goes back to the greenies. EAC 
another program. That's slowly building traction in terms of basketball. The seniors team nila maganda yung napakita sa nakarang NCAA seniors tournament. You know, falling short of the final four, pero maganda na napakita. They got back to their winning ways. Talking about EAC, yan ang gusto natin talaga dito sa juniors level. Second chance for Benil. Good ball movement by the Greenies here. Oh, just a sorry miss. Offensive foul. Sayang, ganda na naman. Take out pass, extra pass. Tapos drive. Sorry miss lang talaga. Ito, 1-2-2 defense na naman. Ang pinapakita ng Valley ng St. Benil. Para i-delay lang yung kaya. Patricks, sinagot naman ni Lumbo mula sa tres. Long range from the big man. Francis Lumbo showing his range sa triple shot. Guinness, good pass inside the third. Unable to hit. Lalong lalo ito sa ating opening period. Oh, lalong lalo ito sa ating opening period. Sila yung naka 3 points? No figures for Alvin Hunt. Coronel naka 3 from that long range. Fresh faces for the Greenies. Getting the season. Oh, two out of two at the free throw line. Oh, yo, nagago nang a. Stop there, yung gala. Too much speed on that one. Over speeding si Don ay don. No, sabi ni coach Red, Red Red Metuado. Dan dan dan, relax lang. Campanya setting up his troops, starting point ready to para sa EAC. Lumbo nila mas kaya para. They have seven to work with. Oh, that's nothing but air. Two seconds for EAC. Good defensive sequence there by the Greenies. Defense. The counter pressure naman two to one. Ang gagawin ng EAC. Sila naman ang pressure. Natin para mag-respond ng NSGH. No, no, ay nasobrahan ng spectros doon. EAC on the run. Kanonigo. He has the numbers. Nice pass. Good rebound by Texon. Everything but the finish. No, no, ay tatakbo ulit. Oh. Miscommunication there. Two shots for EAC. Pareho, may pareho ko pa ng James na fast-paced gusto ng laro. No? Kada ko, may tumatak na agad. Eh. Si Noynoy, gusto ko yung tension niya. Kaya lang, nagkakamali siguro. Talagang oh. first game. Kaya ganyan siya. Pinawag sa Nikon's Ren Ren. Nakita ko, sinabihan siya, relax ka lang, bata. First game lang to. Pinaparelax niya si Noynoy. Siyempre si head coach Renan Natualo. Been through all the battles, high school, college, especially in the pros. And I'm gonna put it on as a player. 
imparting his knowledge with these young greenies. Oh, EAC forces a turnover. Canonigo spin move. Just too fancy with it. Fancy the Canonigo is passing it. On to a nine point lead over the Salt Green Hills. Greenies right here. We're nearing the last two minute mark of our first period. Coming out hot are the guys in red, EAC. But the Greenies now with the answer. Giving a lead out the lead. for one. Up in the done. Which forces Coach Catalan to call a timeout for the EAC Generals. The Salt Green Hills fights back. They are still down by 5 points, 13 to 18 here in our opening period. We are NCAA. Nagpapalik ang ngayong NCAA Juniors Basketball Season 99. New heroes of the game. We are coming to you live from the Philo Eco Arena here in San Juan City. It is the fifth and final game for our opening day between the EAC Generals and the Benil and SGH Greenies. You know what they say, save the best for last. This is expected to be a good one. Last year's finalist, Greenies, going up against a hungry EAC squad. Nico Aaron on the call alongside my partner right here, James Martinez. James now, hita natin. Parehong kumpanan early offense. Ang gustong tema dito sa loob. Ang ganda ng pagka-timeout ni Coach Noy Catalan para yung momentum ng College of St. Benid para maputol niya yung momentum. At ito nga, nakakuha ng foul si Marikit. Kaya lang sumablay siya sa una niyang free throw. Yung mga sinasabi natin ng mga mini strategies sa uh, laro. No? Yung mga kaya yung magaling na coach. Yun, yung mga subtle timeouts, breaks, which really change the momentum of the game. One out of two para kay Marikit. Two to one press ang pinapakita ng AYAK ngayon. Oh! Nakalusot pa ng Greenies. An error there by EAC. Ganda ng pasa ni Nodoy kay Todd. Libring libre sa ilalim. Now, what was once a 10 point lead is down to 4 points. EAC still holding on to a 4 point lead though. And Benil getting another defensive stop. Wide open 3 pointer. That's cash money for Osis. And now the Greenies Osis. are within 1 point. The Osis instant offense. Pagkapasok pa lang, nakatlong 2. Naka 3 points, saka ang kanina naka-agaw, saka naka-drop pass. Ganda na pagkabunod. Ito si Rendren Red Valor. Transition bucket pa rin ito kay Osis. 18 points now for the Greenies. They trip the BAC to just one. 30 seconds remaining in our opening period. Castillo selling back. Global crossover. Kaya lang, anything but the set. Oh, natawagan. Penalty, two shots. Oh, now Benil with a chance to take the lead. This is our thing. Oh no, if he ices these two free throws, he gives the Greens the lead. Unable to hit the first one though. And we also have a lot of Greeny fans in attendance here in the Field Arena Center. Oh, 0 for 2 para kay Nonoy. With the nang offensive rebound, the Aussies. Gomez, the Kahan of Nakahampe. Wow. Oh, almost foul called there by Ison. Cut off the glass. Foul and one. And he gives the Greenies their first lead of this ball game. 
Kung ang tuwa si Todd kasi nabigyan niya na ng laman. Oo. Kaalit ko sa Indinil dahil sa shoot niya sa ilalim ng basket. At may bonus pang free throw. Bonus free throw for Todd. Six it. Lamang na ang greenies. 21 to 19. Burnell's gonna take a three, that's no good. Oh, and he ties it up. Nasigawan pa ni Luna. Sagutan dalawang big men, Todd and Luna. And what an answer. And at the end of the first, we are back to square number one. 21 apiece. We are back to live action here in your NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball Tournament. Back and forth opening period. It is now the second quarter of our final game. The Benin of NSGH Greenies against the Emilia Aguinaldo College. And Nico Aaron, kasabo ngayon, ating partner. And kaya nakahabol yung college of St. Benin dahil dun sa 1-2-2 defense nila. Bumagal yung laro ng Eya. Oo. Kaya na natabla nila yung ball game na ito. Mga adjustments dito ginawa ni Coach Leno Nituado. For those of you just joining us, good evening. There's been a back and forth matchup between both of these squads. In the final game of our opening day ng ating NCAA Season 99. The Sal Greenies and EAC Braves. Nico Aaron on the call alongside James Jimenez. Here inside the beautiful Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, the home of the NCAA. Aussie is not good from three. Nakakuha rin ang second chance ng Greenies. Todd! Ang floater rin na kulang siya doon. Pero si Todd na ang leading scorer ng College of St. Gilinda with 7 points. Dahil sa kanya kaya nakabalik yung College of St. Gilinda. AC 4 seconds to work with. They know it. Oh, tapos si Ne Printedon, si Espino. Espino gusto gusto niya yung tira niya. Espino, Castillo rather. Touch basket. Oh, pass pass inside. Oh, sorry, missed by the big man. Greenies shifting things up here. 
Oh, balik daw sa bola ng LSGH. Tumama sa pa. Tumama sa pa. Ni Pampana. Green needs to have a chance to take the lead here or tie the ball game. Pero wala pang nakakalayong lamang dito, James. Ano? Kasi kada, kada team may sagot sa isa't isa eh. Parang every game, ganun eh. Yung net run lang talaga yung medyo malaki yung lamang. Kanina sa game. Oo. Oh. Laging dikit yung ball games natin. Oo. Oh. Sharma naman, yung bumawi. Nakakuha siya ng foul kay Coronel. Tingnan natin kung makakasyon siya ng free throws. Para throws ka. Sharma will take two free throws. Isa sa mga primary big men. Ito yung head coach Ren na natuwalo. And then it's Gio Drunis. Tawagan dito ang Greenies improper bench decorum for the side of LSGH. Mm -hmm. He sinks the first one. First part. First point. Oh, okay, Sharma. Minsan, bilang isang player, no? yun yung mga kailangan mong warm up mo sa free throw mo na kunin yung puntos mo. Once na makita mo, pumasok yung tira mo. Sana magtuloy-tuloy. So, makuha mo yung confidence mo. Pa rin ang Now we are back at 25 apiece. Our third deadlock of the ball game. EAC with seven to work with. Oh, just bounced off his foot. Greenies on the run. Nice drop pass. Kisharma. Kick out. Gomez up fakes. Moving the ball around here. Manguinis was caught dancing to the wrong song on that one. Double team with us, Greenies. Twenty-five all, but in our third in the second period, we are nearing the halfway point. Our fifth and final game in the second quarter. Anong galaw? Castillo. Ball screen. Tapos, crossover. Fade away. Ang hirap na tira nun. Para kay Castillo. Castillo showing us the skill set he has as a two-guard. Seven seconds to work with for the Greenies. Ines, sumagot naman. Pinigyan niya ng tres. Same ball. Triple drive para kay uh, Ortega, pinasa kay Kines para sa triple shot. Basic na basic, play na yun. Ngayon, lamang na ang Greenies. Oh, and they get a stop. Gomez is pushing. They have the numbers, 4 and 2 fast break. Gomez, drop pass. Good foul. Kasi oh. numbers na yun. Good foul there by Aya. Seventeen to work with a lot of time for the Greenies to set up the offense on the half court. And checking in, the bubble kita si Coronel para sa Aya. Napansin din ni head coach Noy. Na kailangan nila more size inside the paint. Gomez will take it outside. His second triple in this tournament. Flex on them, young man, and he's cash money from deep. Labang na ang Greenies, 31 to 27, a four-point lead for the guys in green. As we will return for more action here in the second period of your NCAA Juniors basketball.
You're still watching the NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball Tournament. Nico Aero and alongside James Martinez bringing you all the action on opening day of our NCAA. And this is the fifth and final matchup for today. EAC against the LSGH. Both teams hungry to get an opening day victory. Of course, last year's finalist is LSGH. Contra Mandito. So hungry squad ng EAC. Lamang ng apat na puntos ang Greenies. Nice move. Hesitation. Another stop for LSGH. Ito yung mga kailangan nilang stop. Ano nung first quarter, hindi sila na masyado nakakuha ng ganyan, James. Pero sa'yo, nakakailang stop na. Ako pa na ni Coach Ernan Eduardo. Tapos na yun naman ang kumawag ng double piece. Hindi sabihin eh, full court. Guys, man to man. Oh! Buines is fouled there by two guys. Got away with a wide open Gomez on the corner. Queen has two free throws at the line to extend the lead here of the Greenies. Karina lamang EAC ng 5. Ngayon naman, nagparitan tayo. Bumalik sa LSGH ang lamang. Queen is now with 5 points. Pa rin, James, sinasabi mo, 2-2-1 pa rin ang Greenies dito. Doon gumagal yung laro ng Eyak, eh, yung nag-1-2-2. Kasi kanina, di ba, ang hot yung start nila. Oo. Oh. Nagbago ng defense itong College of St. Philip, nag-1-2-2 defense. Gumagal din yung laro ng Eyak. Eyak now trying to work on the strong side. That's no good. Lumpo, second chance bucket, flex on them, young man. Lumpo, not giving up on that play. Talagang gusto gusto niya makashoot. Rebound, hindi siya nag-forsig siya para makashoot. Hindi siya mong gusto niyo. Nakaho naman ang stop ulit, ang EAC dito. Iraham, Marikit, they have 12 to work with. Oh, costly turn over there for EAC. Madami na yung errors ng EAC. 13 turnovers na this game. Pero maswerte pa rin ang EAC. Apat lang ang hinahabol nila dito. A lot of time to work with if you're the Greenies. 19 seconds on your front court. We have another substitution checking in. For the guys in green, James Eason, another point guard for Benil, that is Chief. Queenness, free throw line jumper for Sharma, that's good. Sharma with a soft touch. Napakitaan tayo ng shooting. Oh. Get out of this deficit here. Do you want to bounce back? Coronel against two defenders. Marikin gets the rebound. Lumbo. Vinnie Raham. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Oh, that is a far right miss for Ea. No first quarter, James, ano, mas suave yung galaw ng Eyak na natong second period para na pipilitan sa mga tira nila. Bumagal yung offense, propensa oh. ng Eyak eh. Kasi ang hot ng ang hot ng start nila nung first quarter. Oh. Ang laki ng lamang nila. Corner three for Ison. Oh, and he gets the bank. Which brings the Greenies. Lamang na ng nine ang Greenies. Yun talaga nakakasyon sa corner na yun. Oo, di ba? Ito nga sa mga mananood natin. Kanina pa, sabi namin ni James, 
That corner and that wing three, mas swear ka na kung yari na yan kanina pa nung game one pala. Nakakabawi kayang Ayak, sinagot naman dito ni Coronel. He says, what you can do, I can do better. Ayak with a three-point bomb of their own. Grabe yung kumpiyansa ni Coronel. Three points, big man with a soft touch. Oh, Esau and it's short there. Iraham fakes. Balik ni Coronel, he'll try another one. Oh, wanted to go for two for two on that one. Sayang, hindi naka back to back. Zone defense naman, pinapakita ng Eyak. Different look, binibigay dito. By the boys in red. Ooh, nifty floater. Ganda ng galaw ni Pinis. Pwede pa nga tawagan ng end one eh. May contact, tapos. Here you come. Galing. Iraham calling that a high key. Pick and roll with Coronel. Pop dito si Coronel. Even clip his address. Decides not to take it. Drives inside. Oh, bully boy move. Tinignan pa. Ito si Sharma. Nice move by Coronel. Putting his head down. Ponting bangga. Easy two points para sa kanya. Ayak answering back in this one. Still a six point lead by the Greenies here. But we have a close one in our second period. Coronel now with ten points. Siya ang unang Ayak player na naka double digits sa game na to. More action here in your NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament when we return. You are still with us here in our NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball Tournament. It is opening day, LaSalle versus Ayak, the Greenies versus the guys in red. Magandang laban na nakita natin dito, fifth game, but you know what they say, last but not the least. And this is a good one indeed. Nico Aaron alongside James Martinez bringing you all the action here on opening day in the East Royal Center in San Juan City. Give and go dito para sa Greenies, just unable to work there. Iyak forcing another turnover. Zone defense naman yung pinakita ng Iyak. Oo. Kaya siguro nalito yung mga players ng College of St. Neil. Pero ito pa rin, 1-2-2. Pinapakita ng College of St. Neil. Iyak with it. Castillo si Tira ng Tres. That's far right. Venus wants to push, but Ayak has the numbers. He saw and he misses from three. Rebounded there by Ayak. Hustle ng Ayak dito maganda sa second quarter. But unable to take care of the basketball. Ito si Castillo. Nasayang yung mga missed opportunities. Uh, imbis na makaka-score ka, nag-turn over. Ito, ngayon, 14 turnovers na yung Ayak. Tapos na-fall pa, penalty. So, double whammy yun. Oh. You don't want to give up those easy baskets, lalo na pa patapos na ating second period, you know? Second quarter. Bounce back to the Now they're in the penalty. James Eason with a chance to bring up LaSalle's lead to eight. Misses the first one. Yung hustle na tong EAC, you know? first quarter pa lang nakakita natin. Eh. Yung nga nabanggit mo lang, hindi nila maalagaan yung bola. Pag nakakuha nila, yung second chance bucket. Yes, tama ka nito. 
kasi bumagal na yung laro nila kanina yung first first five minutes takbo sila ng takbo uh, score sila ng score ang laki kagad nun lamang nila kaya lang nung nag 1-2-2 zone defense na tong uh, college of St. Pinil bumagal yung laro nila parang nag-ingat yun tapos nakakakuha pa ng turnovers yung college of St. Pinil cosmic turnovers sa iya 15 turnovers na this first half on the college uh, Ayak uh, Ayak Chance for the last shot here Potador sa 3 Wala 3 seconds 2 1 That is broken up And after 20 minutes of action It's the NSGH Green He's on top at halftime 41 to 34 7 the NCAA Philippines live stream on Facebook. Salamat sa ating mga manonood, to everyone who's joined us all throughout this spectacular opening day for our basketball action here in the NCAA. Obo si Nico Aaron alongside James Martinez bringing you the action in the beautiful Phil Orly Oil Center here in San Juan City as we begin the third quarter of our intense basketball action. No good. EAC here wanting to start this quarter better. First quarter, can drop us away. AC James, pangalawang quarter, so magot yung greenies. Atong third quarter, manalaman natin kani na pumupunta nato. Eason unable to hit. EAC now with a chance to trim this lead. They have 10 to work with. Ibrahim just short on that reverse. Ibrahim with a big silo, kaya lang saya. Short lang yung layup niya. Eason, pinilip niya doon. He did not get a foul call. Castillo, puminoy step. Oh, he got the lucky bounce on that one. Itong si Castillo. Nice move by Castillo. Pinoy step niya. With a contact. Nashoot niya pa yun. Guinez, weak side, pick and roll action with Sharma. Sharma, lucky bounce on that jumper. Sharma, meron talaga siyang soft touch sa perimeter. Kanina pa niya pinapakita yun sa game na to. Pick and pop ang ginawa doon ng Phoenix. Seven points ulit ang lamang dito ng LSGH. Quines with a spin move. Oh, that's short. Sayang, ang ganda ng galaw. Double between, spin move. Anything but a shot. Bumingin ang traveling doon si Coach Reno Nagualo. Quines get another stop. Gusto tumakbo. Oh, good thread the needle pass. Just unable to finish for Ortega. Sayang. Ortega jump shot. That is good. I'm sorry, that is number 24 rather. Castillo para dito sa EAC. Castillo now with 10 points. Pangalawa siya sa player ng EAC na nakaka-double digit ngayong game. Suwabe yung jumper na to ni Castillo. You know, first half pa yan eh. Ganda ng form. Oh. Guinness naman. Sasagot. Then. Ortega. Triple team. Putador kay Guinness. Balik kay Eason. Nice extra pass by Guinness. Good shot yun kay Eason. Hindi lang na-convert. Ganda ng in-out ni Abraham. Kaya lang nabutata. Oh. Parang yung pace natin dito, James, ano, nakita ng bangit natin kanina ng first two quarters. Bilis! High octane. Ngayon naman, medyo mas kalmado na magdaro. Yung parehas na ko pa na. Bili ko, nag-relax na sila eh. Uh, both teams, nag-relax na. Parang naka-recover na sila. Siguro, first game nga. Uh, kailangan maka-recover din. Nakausap na sila ni Coach Noy, tsaka ni Coach Ren Ren ng halftime. So, bili ko, na-relax na sila itong second half. Oh. Still a good one here, only 5 points separating both of these teams. Oh, short there, Lumbo gets
gets the rebound. Try and try until you succeed. Yan ang inyong pinakita dyan. Si Emilio Aguinaldo player number 29, Francis Lumbo. Lumbo, kanina pa yan sa offensive glass. Oh. Nice pass by Ison. Oh. Oh. Sinagot naman dito ni Nonoy. Back and forth we go. Iraham. Nagay kay Luna. Good ball movement for EAC, but they have to come up with something quick. Four seconds on the shot clock. Castillo. Straight away jumper on the inside. Hilig niya dun sa fadeaway. Dalawang speed move. Tapos fadeaway. Napakahirap na tira na. Sinagot na naman agad ni Nonoy. Nonoy, back-to-back baskets. Six points na si Nonoy. Campania looking to answer. Ito na. James, parehong team. Nakita natin, gusto ulit ibalik yung high octane offense nila. Both want to get out of transition early. Nibilis na yung laro natin ngayon, second half. Lalo ngayon, third quarter, medyo takbo na ng takbo itong dalawang team. Campania now a chance at the line for two free throws. Rodomel Campania. Now he puts himself on the board with his first bucket of the ball game. First points para dito kay Campania. One for two at the foul line. And the Greenies are running. Jumper by Greenies, that's no good. Sharma tries to get it back though. Sharma in Lumbo. Sabi magagawa sa Luba. Bautista, solo niya! Oh, and the entire Greenies bench thought that block by Potodor was clean, but the referee saw otherwise. Yeah. Sinalubong niya si Bautista doon. Nabol pa ni Potodor. Chase down block na sana. Kaya alam ko hindi naman nakatawa. Kaya tinawagan siya ng foul doon. Kala niya clean, foul, uh, clean block na eh. Kaya alam may konting contact sa baba. Kaya natawagan siya ng foul. Bautista now is at the line for two. He sinks the first one. Aaron Bautista, his first two, his first point. He gets himself on the board as well. At important ito kung ikaw yung AAC na James na at least spread out scoring ang gusto mo para sa kumbanan mo. Nakapas gusto mo yan, yung nai-stop yung clock. Nakakahabol kayo. Nakakashoot kayo kahit pa uti-uti. Ito uti-uti nyo yung lamang. Ang kalaban nyo. Kampana. Ball stays with EAC. Tatlong puntos pa rin ang lamang dito ng Greenies. But EAC wants to recharge its boys. They take a timeout. Only a three-point ball game. 47 to 44 here in our third period. Back to live action here in the NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Nico Aaron alongside James Martinez covering this game for you. It's a close one. Greenies only up by three against the Hungry AX squad. Back and forth po tayo dito. At the opening day in the NCAA Ganda nung play ni Coach Noy. Kaya lang hindi lang na-convert. Swerte sila na punta pa ulit sa kanila yung bola. Castillo, fadeaway jumper. Woo! Kanina pa yan si Castillo. Smooth like butter. That is fun. John Ray Castillo. 
Castillo with another fade away shot. Napakahirap na tira nun. Kaya lang, natawagan siya ng technical foul. Ah, yun lang. So it's counted pa rin. Long two para kay Castillo. Ah, correction. Hindi pala si Castillo ang natawagan. Although nag-flex din tong si Castillo. Oo, kala ko siya eh. Pero ang natawagan, tama ba? Yung bench, bench ng Benil. Oh, oh. Improper bench decorum for the second time. And that's why Ayak now ties the ball game 47 all. Our fifth deadlock of this game. And this is a good one. What better way to cap off our opening day with a good matchup like this? Lasal, NSGH. Grabe yung Castillo, binubuhat yeah, niya yung yeah. team niya. Oo. Oh. Castillo, siya yung, siya yung way para feeling ko manalo itong Ayak uh, sa game na to. 15 points na siya. Grabe yung mga galaw, double spin moves, fade, fade away. Alos lahat ng tira niya, fade away, ang galing. Eason, walang mahanap. Oh, sis! Oh, oh sis, pinadaan sa kiligili. Galing! Castillo wide open again. They have the numbers that time. Campagna, weak side offense. Ilabas dito kay Marikit. Long range three. High arcing shot there. That's no good, but a jumper works for Castillo. Castillo again. Now with 17 big points. Para sa Eya. Oh, sis. Oh, nakahugot ng foul dito. Bumibilis ng tema ng ating laro. Yes, Nico. Nakita mo naman si Osis. Nakakuha siya ng foul. Dito sa St. Benil, wala pang double digit na score. Ah. Pantay-pantay na 7 points. Si Kines, Osis, at si Tad. Lahat sila may 7 points. Venus now, Osis rather, at the line. Looking to go one for two. And he does. Tikit pa rin ang laban natin dito. Yan pa rin, naka 1-2-2 defense pa rin yung College of St. Vinil. Nakita natin James ng first half. Nag-iba yung rhythm na itong Ayak kung nag-1-2-2 itong Greenies. Yun na nga. Speaking of nag-iba yung rhythm, traveling in fraction ng tawag ito sa Ayak. Traveling si Campana. Too many steps. Ganda ng intention niya. Gusto niya i-drive para makapag-create sa kakampi niya. Kaya lang, too many steps. Pick and roll action. Gomez. No good. Castillo. Stop and pop. Cash money. Looking like Kobe on that one. Number 24. Castillo reminiscent of a Kobe like stop and pop jumper. Grabe, stop and pop. Mahirap na gag na tira yun eh. Yung stop and pop na yun. 19 points na. Si Castillo. Back to EAC, but they're only up with by one. Oh, that's short. No one on the run. Three on two fast break. Inez says, wait, let's settle the troops. Ah, a foul on Todd. Si Nonoy ang bilis, kaya lang kailangan makontrol niya pa yung bilis niya. Oh. Wala pa talaga nakakalayo dito, no, James? First quarter pa lang, back and forth yung ating laban. Fifteen to work with for the Greenies. Inez wants Nonoy to set up the screen. 
He uses it a little hand time, but too fancy with the finish. Castillo stop and pop na naman. Nakawagan ang foul. Napakagaling ng bata nito. Tsaka siya talaga binibigyan ni Coach Noy Katalan ng bola. Oo. Siya ang inaasahan sa opensa. Ang iyak. That's what they call a license to shoot. Yes. Dito kay Castillo and he sinks the first smooth stroke. 20 points na. Si John Ray Castillo. 20 points, John Ray Castillo. Ang pinakamataas na player. Highest pointer para dito sa AYAC. 2 for 2 at the line. Make that 21 points para kay John Ray Castillo. Grabe. Lamang na ang AYAC ng tatlo. Ball swing here. Potador unable to hit from the corner. Yeah, they push. Ooh, almost a turnover. Weak side action to Aya. Lumbo, 10 seconds to work with. Nine on the shot clock. Natawagan ng offense foul to si Lumbo. Sayang. Nakakasyon na ulit sana si John Ray Castillo. Kaya lang natawagan ng charging si Lumbo. Still at three, EAC up here in the third period, bouncing back after being down at halftime. The Greenies, medyo na pa ako ang Greenies dito for the past five minutes. No, no, a long range, that's short. But they get another crack at the basket. Gomez, oh, good fake. Nilabas ki Osis, and he ties it up. Cash money from the corner. Grabe yung basa ni Gomez kay Osis. Nakadalawang naka offensive rebound kasi sila kaya nangyari yun. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Kailangan makontrol ni Nono. Oh. Nono yung ibilis niya. Nono yung there too fast for his own good. Yun, sinasabihan ni Coach Red Red. Relax lang. Napagaling na siya dito si Coach Red Red. Ito ano. Uh, muna, si Nonoy. 19 on the clock. We are back at 53. Our sixth deadlock of the tournament. The uh, best six tight na natin to. This is the ball game. Castillo, he'll try it from deep. Long range, Bob flexing in front of the bench of LSGH. Castillo. 24 big points para sa kanya. Mainit na mainit. Kaya lang, sinagot naman ni Podador with the teardrop. Hindi yun ni Castillo, but hindi nabigay sa kanya. Susubok naman ang binil, Ortega. No good. Yun ang sinasabi ng ano, James, no? Shoot or shoot if you're Castillo. Tsaka pumapasok na yun. Taas ng percentage niya. Tira lang ng tira. Bata. Habang maganda yung nilalaro mo. Oo. Pressure D here by Gomez. Campanya. Oh, pesky defense. Castillo behind the back. Oh, he smashes the foul. Galing behind the back. Ball screen behind the back, tapos pull up. Ang hirap bantayan. Oo, ang daming galaw. Bata pa lang, nakita mo na yung skill set niya. Oo, ang galing mag-dribble. Nakikita niya kung saan pupunta, kung saan niya gustong pupunta, doon siya nakakapunta. Kaya naman, may 24 big points na siya. 
ngayong game na to. Big, big game for number 24, John Ray Castillo. Playing like the number on his jersey for the man above, Kobe Bryant. The number on it, and he's definitely playing like him. He showed up today. The highest pointer for EAC now. Looking to gain a three point lead as they do. 26 points. John Ray Castillo. May kasama pa yan, four rebounds. Pinagpahinga muna ni Coach Nonoy. Para sa fourth quarter na yan, mamaya babalik yan. Green is now a chance to tie the game with one minute remaining. Weave action for the guys in white. Gomez, he'll try his three-pointer. That's no good. They get another look. Nice oh. kill by Campana. All the way. Good read. Mula kay Campana. Yung Ayak, sila naman yung gumanda yung defensa ngayon third oh. quarter. Sila naman yung... Offensive oh, foul na nataw kay Osis. According to our referees, Nasi Gudonia. Campana. Oh, oh Nasi Gudonia itong si Campana. Medyo late call, pero nakita ng referee, oh. umaswang yung Siko eh. Na late reaction dun eh. And Ayak, what a turn of events. Kanina, tinanong kita James. Sino naman sa first quarter na punta sa Ayak, second quarter sa Benil. Third quarter. Sabi natin, sino mo si step up at mukhang Ayak naman ang nakalamang din sa ating third quarter. Ngayon, yung Ayak, umigpit yung defensa, kitang-kita natin, kaya naman lumamang sila. Oo. Hindi nga lang, napaturnover sila doon. Hindi nga lang, nagka-miscommunication si Texo, tsaka si Lumbo. Gusto i-fake muna ni Lumbo bago niya kunin yung bola, kaya lang hindi sila nagka-intindihan ni Texo. 31 seconds left in our third period. And uh, there's a little commotion going on here right at the timeout. But we'll be back with more action here in the third quarter. We are back to live action here at the Field Oil Eco Oil Center for your NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball Tournament. Our fifth and final matchup for opening day. The SGH Greenies versus the EAC. And both teams want to get an opening day win. So far, it's been Aya coming out on top in this third period. Nico Aeron alongside James Martinez bringing you all the action. Oh, the doors were shut for Tun there. Good defense by Aya. 1 3 1 yung pinakita nila defense. Marikit foul, basket, and one. Aya coming off that timeout strong. 62 points now for EAC. Ganda nung pinakita ng defense ng Aya. 1 3 1 defense nila, zone defense. Kaya medyo na dito, itong College of St. Benil. Tapos naka-fast break points pa. Itong si Mari Sikit. Six to free throw. Seven point lead here for EAC. Eason takes a shot at the buzzer. That's no good. Not to the Benlaki club head coach Renan Kulituano who's being eaten to one of the Nagrinis. And with that, we have the EAC fighting back here in the third period. Up by eight points, quantum dito sa LHC. Nakalamang dito ang EAC Generals. 29 big points for the boys in red in the third quarter compared to Benil's 14. So nakita natin doon James talagang nanalo ang EAC sa third quarter. 
dito, itang kita natin na mabigpit yung depensa ng Eyak. Tapos, parang lumaki pa yung ring sa Eyak. Lalong lalo na dahil kay John Ray Castillo. Man on fire for the guys in red. Leading EAC to an 8.3. Walang mahanap, binirik ni Ison. Ison, top of the key to Gomez for three. That hasn't been falling for Gomez. Pinamalas na yung valid yung side binir. Oo. Marikit, susubok naman sa tres. Ayaw rin. Ooh, good tap. Luna, all the way. Hindi na final ni Kines doon. Nakita niya, naunang step na. Si Luna, rather. Hendrick Luna now with 6 points. Ortega binigay kay Gomez. Inaalat na talaga. Oo. Alam mo, maganda rin yung tiwala na binibigay ng mga kakapin ni Gomez sa kanya. Tira na siya ng tira. Nung first half kasi, nakadalawang trash siya eh. Kaya ngayon, hinahanap niya medyo... Lumamig itong si Gomez dito sa ating 4th period. Now EAC with a commanding double digit lead here over the Greenies. Kanina, LSGH ang may lamang. Ngayon naman, EAC hawak nila double digits. Much needed end one done para sa Greenies. Guinness keeping the Greenies within strike distance. Leon is now with nine points. Sana siya na ang second player na magkakaroon ng ten points kung ma-shoot niya itong free throw nito. Saka mabababa niya pa yung kalamangan ng Ayak. And the free throws have been a key factor for both squads, keeping them in this game. Seven points is the difference between both of these teams. Yes, now with ten points. Marikit, dribble handoff action. Skibigay dito. Oh, just a sorry miss there. Greenies, get another stop. Eason at the corner, libre libre si Ortega. Guinness, dribble drive. Offensive foul ang tinawag dito sa Benil. Nag-hesitate na ang College of St. Benil. Pwede nang itira ni Kinis yun. Kaya lang din drive niya pa. Yung tuloy na turnover pa. Yung tuloy na turnover pa. sabi minsan James to hindi mo pwede i-overthink yung mga tira mo eh minsan pag andyan ha tira mo lang oh Pinoy step grabe talaga ng bata Pinoy step John Ray Castillo another stop na naman by Ayak you know, the Pinoy step has now become a regular vocabulary for us basketball fans in the Philippines. May Euro step, may naman, may Pinoso tayo. Pinoy step! That was a pure example shown to us by Castillo right there. John Ray Castillo, 28 big points. Isang game na to. Iso, nilabas dito. Bong bong from Kines. Yun, finally, nakatulas ulit. Si Kines. Ang dalawang isip si Kines ngayon. Ngayon niya. Yung 3 points na yun, ang pumasok. Dapat talaga hindi ka magdadalawang isip eh. Oo. 6 points. Ang lamang pa rin ang Ea. Pero, nakakuha ng stop dito ang Benil. Kines, double digit na rin. 11 points na. Kines, pinitesting a hot hand. Heat check doon. 
Basilio, binigay. A wild shot by Marikit. Oo, oh, wild shot yun. Good decision there by Castillo. Libre naman si Marikit doon. Napasobra lang sa tira. Six points. EAC is still up here in the fourth period. As we are nearing the halfway point of our fourth and final period for this ball game. Okay, yeah, continue pa rin sila sa zone defense nila. Oo. Oh. Talagang disiplinado sila sa zone. Hindi sila nawawala sa zone. Keenness, dribble drive. Labas kay Potador. In and out. Nakapitalize ng Ayak. Yung zone defense. Kasi yeah. hindi sila, hindi makashoot ng 3 points itong College of St. Benil. Coach Renren shouting to his boys. Cover the help side. Nakalusot na naman. And there you go, John Rick Castillo. A 30 piece for number 24. Grabe yung bata talaga. 30 points na. A debut game niya. Ngayon, araw na to. Sharma gustong sumagot. 30 big points for John Ray Castillo. Greenies have to find their answer. College of St. Benilde, 6 out of 24. So, 3 point shot. Napakababa ng percentage oh. na yan, 25% lang. Not the best outing for the boys in white. Kaya yung Ayak, nagko-continue sila mag-zone de mag defense kasi hindi pumapasok yung oh. tira ng College of St. Benilde. Huwag yung maganda, no? Sina-challenge na tagalit. Sina-challenge talaga nila ng Benilde. Hanggang di pumasok, binibigay lang, binibigay nila. Tama yun, Nico. Tinutuloy-tuloy lang nila oh. kasi nakikita nila hindi ito matama yung mga 3-point shot na itong College of St. Benilde. Ngayon ang challenge dito, um, James, para kay Coach Renan ito walo, no? Naka 30 points na itong si John Marie Castillo. Do you force a double team? Or tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang coverage na? Kasi it just seems like Castillo is having his way. Ang hirap din kasi talaga pigilan na pag oh. grabe na yung kumpiyansa ng bata. Dahat naman, ginawa na ni Coach Renan rin. Nag-trap, oh. nag-zone, nag-force baseline. Pero magaling lang din talaga itong John Marie Castillo. <laughs> Ang daming baho na galaw eh. Ang daming skills. Ang galing mag-dribble. May height. Ang taas. Ang taas. Ang taas ng tira. Tsaka yung mga tira niya, mga fade away. Oo. Oh. Ang hirap. Paano mo titipensahan yun? Fade away. Just like the man who wears number 24 on his jersey. Kobe Bryant. The master of the fade away. And he's showing sparks of that here today. Ayak still up by 8 points. We are at the halfway point of our fourth period. And we will have a review on a certain call here. Interested ako malaman dito, ano yung nire-review ng ating mga referees dito, James? Yun nga, ako rin. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung nire-review nila. So, antayin natin kung ano mga desisyon ng referee. Ah, possession. And it looks like ibibigay pa rin nila. Possession arrow still points to the side of the Greenies. So they're going to have the 12 second shot clock. Five minutes, a lot of time to make something up here if you are the boys in white. But you know, until you could stop Castillo and the rest of the AAC squad, the Greens are going to have a hard time here. Halos kalahati ng points ng AAC galing kay. John Ray Castillo. Oh. Ito, inib iniba naman nila ang defense nila. Kanina, puro zone defense. Ngayon, nagmantaman naman itong area. Sharma tries that jumper. That's no good. Sharma, inalat na rin. Oh. Kanina, yung mga soft touch, soft touch niya. Sa jump shot, jump shot niya. Sa perimeter, pumapasok. Ngayon, medyo inalat na rin. Ganda nung adjustment doon ng Ayak na nung nagmantaman ka na 12 seconds na lang sa shot clock eh. 
Campania. Cross the foul right there. And now both teams already in the penalty. Oh, I'm sorry. That's three on the Greenies. We are nearing the penalty though for both of these squads. And Ayak wanting to break away. Wala pa talaga nakakalamang dito ng malaki. James, no? every time a team has a double digit lead, the other goes on a run. Kaya yan ang inahanap dito in the last five minutes ng parehong kupanan. Yes, Digo. Kaya kitang kita natin para nagpapalitan na sila ng score. Pero mas lumalamang to ang Ayak dahil kay John Ray Castillo. Grabe yung pinapakita ng bata. 30 points in this ball game. Pick and roll play here. Hindi ginamit ni Kines ang screen. He saw an open lane. Grabe yung galaw ni Kines. Reject the ball screen. Tuloy-tuloy, kanan, all the way. Easy two points para sa kanya. We are still within six. Kines now with 15 points. Oh, grabe. Hindi bumibitaw yung College of St. Kinil. Yeah. Lalong-lalo ito si Kines. Some commotion going on here between both squads. Medyo nagkakainitan. Siyempre, four minutes. Four minutes, six point ball game. Oh, and we have... Five fouls already for one of the wards of Coach Noy. Jeffrey Puna. Five fouls na, graduate na siya. Sayang, maganda pa rin yung mga yeah. pinapakita din itong batang ito. Dito natin malalaman. Can the Greenies take advantage of that situation? Ayak, one more foul. Nasa penalty na. Six points pa rin ang ball game natin. Kaya tignan natin ano yung sasagot ng Benil dito. Four Jed minutes and 30 seconds. Ang haba pa niyan. Jedrick Luna fouling out with six points and six rebounds. Sayang. Oo. Oh. Malaking tulong yun para sa Ayak. Kumbaga balance na nun yan. No? Balanced effort. Kasi isa siya sa mga defense na uh, inaasahan ni Coach Nonoy sa depensa para sa Ayak. Mm hmm. Ito, pinapakita na naman ni, ng Ayak ang 1-3-1 defense, zone defense. Tingnan natin kung may sagot itong College of St. Neil. Both teams here looking to break away and pull through. Kines. Binigay sa corner. Wala. Oh! Elbows flying on that one. Ball goes to Ayak. Pinamalas na nga itong talagang College of St. Peter. 6 out of 25 oh. sa 3-point shot. Kahit pumasok lang siguro ito, mga kahit nakasampu lang sila, baka ang laki ng lamang nila. Man of Greenies. Iraham isolation step back for three. Oh, the bank is open. Grabe. Between the legs, cross, step back. Oh. Sadya ba yun? Yun yung tanong. Pati yata siya nagulat. Kaya lang, bumawi naman to si Ortega. Yeah. Balik na naman sa... Balik na naman sa 7 ang abang ng AC. 3 minutes and 30 seconds in the 4th. The AC wanting to break away from LSGH here. But they turn it over. No, no, ito matakbo na naman. Oh, switching it up in the air. Mark Monoy. Six points. Grabe, tuloy-tuloy yun. Ang bilis ni Nonoy, pag nakuha niya na yung full speed niya, ang hirap na pigilan. Yun yung sinasabi ko na kailangan mag-control ni Nonoy yung bilis niya. 
Kasi ang hirap niya pigilan pag nakakuha na ng ganun na tuloy-tuloy. Wala na makaka-stop sa kanya pag ganun ka bilis, ganun ka taas tumalon. Feeling ko wala na makakasabay sa kanya pag tinalon niya yun. Rumbo still the first free throw, bringing the lead back to six for EAC. And the field goal of both teams, not the best today, no? Para sa parehas na ko po na 35% field goal shooting. Para sa LSGH, 41% naman para dito sa EAC. But it's been the free throws that have kept both teams alive in this ball game. Well, nakita nga natin si Nungo to have to do sa free throws. Sinamahan pa yan ng 6 rebounds para sa kanyang pangalan. Oh! Now the Greenies draw a foul. Kamikasi drive by Nunoy again. Yun, pakamatay yung drive dito. Let's see if he can make his free throws though. Misses the first. Crucial, crucial misses dito para sa Greenies. Yun lang, 0 out of 3 yung Nunoy sa free throw line. It's not the best time to be missing your free throws if you're in a cage. One out of four for Nonoy. EAC's lead is still within six. Nine points for Nonoy. Abraham, four points for duties. Oh! Flex on them, young man! Number 29 for Dito, Francis Lumbo. Ganda ng pasa ni Marikin. High low pass. Seal ni Lumbo. Pagkaibot, bihit. Easy two points na. Basic na basic ang basic. galaw ni Lumbo. Oh, oh nasa loob na naman. And EAC smells blood. They are back. 10 point lead for EAC. It is looking good for the boys in red. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Grabe yung Lumbo. Siya yung nag-step up. Yung na-fall down si Luna. Dalawang back-to-back baskets para sa kanya. EAC up by 10 here in the fourth. We will return with more action. Nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball Tournament. The fourth and final period of our opening day game. The fifth game of this day. Both teams going back and forth. But EAC breaking away in the final three minutes of this period. Nico Aeron kasama pa rin si James Martinez. And the boys in red are slowly spending victory. But the Greenies want to bounce back. And it starts there with that effort by Ison. Ganda ng up step by Ison. Back to 8 points ng kamakaya. Here we are at the 2-minute mark. Isolation play, Campania. Good coverage there. Iraham just short from the 3. Now that gives the Greenies a chance, no? Na mention mo medyo bad foul yun kasi free throw na naman. Nasa penalty na itong EAC. So they give the Greenies a chance to score at the line. Tigil pang oras para dito sa Greenies. Ito yun eh. Talagang pinakayo niya para matahabol. Ito yung college of St. Gilil. Oo. 15 points na para sa kanya. This is only a seven point ball game. One minute and 42 seconds remaining here in the fourth period. Quinas makes that six. Full court press na ulit among Greenies. Full court man naman, yung pinakita ng shot ng St. Pinil. Kanina, 1-2-2 ngayon. Full court 
Oh. Oh, forcing another turnover. No noise pushing. Hang time is no good. Castillo, three on one fast break. Ah, oh, late drop pass there. Medyo na yung pass ni Castillo doon. One minute and 14 seconds to go to work. Six points, that's of time yan para sa College of St. Vinil. Kailangan lang nila makashoot ngayon, tsaka makastop para para makahabol sa game na to. Iyak sticking to the zone. Ison wide open. Oh, that is far off. Guys, a big round. Take a second look. Guinness. 10 seconds on the shot clock. They need to come up with something here. Woo! Nice pass by Big Guinness. shot. Dito para sa Greenies. Osis, big three-point basket. Bringing them back within striking distance. Forcing the EAC to take a timeout. We'll be back. They're up three in this fourth period. We are going down to the wire here in the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, just like it should be. You know what they say, save the best for last. You are in for a thriller, mga ka NCAA, Nico Aaron alongside James Martinez. The fourth quarter is a good one. NSGH and EAC, only three points separating both squads. Back and forth, wala pang nakakalaman ng malayo dito. EAC had a comfortable 10 point lead, but the Greenies fought back. Only now within striking distance, 3 points na lang in Habol, the Greenies. Dahil yan kay Miguel Osis at kay Gillian Guinness. Now with 17 points and 14 points. Para sa kanilang dalawa. Silang dalawa yung oh. next step up talaga si Osis at itong si Guinness. Nung lumalaki yung lamang ng Ayak. Big buckets. Oh, and they force a turnover. Ooh. They almost had EAC's number there. Sayang, sayang. Yung... Nakata oh, nakatakas ang EAC doon na, James. Oh, nadulas lang si Ortega. Oh. Sayang yung possession na yun. 16 seconds separating game clock and shot clock. For sure, babalik pa ang bola dito sa Greenies. Pero kailangan makastop sila dito. Kailangan lang nila makastop tapos makakonvert kung gusto nila maka... maka... tabla sa team na to. EAC, a bucket for EAC here will give them a good chance to seal the deal. They put the hands in... the ball in the hands of their best player, Castillo. But he falls short. At balik na yun ang bola. So Greenies, a chance to tie this ball game. But head coach Ren Ritualo wants to make sure they do it the right way. Three points ang inahabol na lang ng Greenies dito sa pagbabalik ng NCAA.
onto your seats because we have a nail biter in our NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. We are coming back with you live from the Philor Eco Oil Center here in San Juan City. 26.3 seconds remaining. What has proven to be leaving us at the edge of our seats. Nico Aeron alongside James Martinez. Three point difference in this ball game. The Greenies with a chance to tie it in this possession. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Just when you thought, Alan natin James, magupulawi na ang EAC 10 point lead sila Pina. Ang abalik ulit ng LGH dito with a chance to tie the ball game. Let's see who they go to. Queenes has been their hot man in this fourth quarter. But he gives it to Ison. But it's Queenes. Four seconds to shoot. Oh, just a costly turnover there. And EAC proving to have the defensive metal. Don't some possession now. Zone defense talaga. Sa College of St. Vinian. Yung 2-3 zone, 1-3-1. Oh. Yun yung nagpahirap sa College of St. Vinian ngayong game na to. And uh, we're gonna stay on air here. Nakakulangan dun ang, ang Greenies, no? They had a chance there, James. Ano nangyari dun? I-break dun may nangyari dun. So, they had 14 seconds on the shot clock. 26 pa sa game clock. Anong nagawa ang tama dun ng EAC para ma-force yung turnover? Uh, tingin ko, talagang uh, kinontest nila yung 3-point shot kasi yun ang magpapatabla sa game na to. Talagang uh, dinepensa nila yung 3-point line. So, yung zone defense nga, yun ang effective na na depensa para sa EAC. Lalong-lalo na kay Coach Nonoy Katalan. Ngayon, 11.2 seconds remaining. It's gonna be EAC ball, EAC possession. Kung ikaw ang greenies, you go for the steal or do you go for the foul right away? Yun, nakita ko, narinig ko yung uh, sinabi ni Coach Rendren, go for the steal first bago kayo pumaul. Sundaan natin, both teams nasa penalty na. So ang next foul dito, we'll send EAC at the free throw line. Let's see if the greenies can come up with a defensive stop here. 12.3 seconds, a lot of time. But the only thing, para din sa Benil, hindi nasa kanila ang bola, kaya kailangan nila kumuha ng steal dito. Quick steal, tapos foul right away ang mangyayari dyan. Kung hindi nila maagaw yung bola. Let's see what they do. Oh, there it is! Stop and pop three! Oh, so close! That was a creamy! And EAC will come away with the victory! Getting away with this one! Another upset! Upsetting the finalists! The boys in white waiting to get the victory here! EAC showing up! Coming up with a 78 to 75 victory! Saya, may chance yung College of St. Philip! Naagaw ka! 3 points, na-contest lang din talaga yung 3 points. 